Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today's video is going to be a recap of my TTM results from the 2022 year. Now, I've only been making YouTube videos since February 18th. Now, I'm just over the 100 video mark, which I thought that was hard to believe, but I have 100 and something videos. I, I love stats, is what this is basically about. I love stats. Um, I love fantasy football for stats. I love fan I play fantasy basketball. I even play fantasy baseball. I just, I love stats. Even growing up as a kid, my buddy and I, we played RBI baseball. We had one and we had two and we had three. By the time we had acquired RBI baseball three, we started writing down stats of our games. And when I was playing, he would write down the stats. And then when he was playing, I would write down the stats. Just love it. Combine them at the end of the year and write down our season stats on RBI Baseball. Well, that carried over to Tech Mobile as well. We would write down the end of the year stats of our seasons just to see how they compared to the seasons before that we played. So I've watched several videos of the, you know, you know, the best of 2022 and the totals of your year. And then as the, you know, the countdown the year, uh, happy new year. So this video is going to be just that. So I kind of went digging into my YouTube account and was just doing some, just searching of what, just some numbers to show you guys. And it's really amazing for me because I just wrote down some notes over here. Um, for example, I sent out 127 TTM envelopes. I received 89 um, as far as they signed them and sent them back to me. So 89 out of 127. I'm still currently waiting on 32 of those. Now, some have been sent out since that first batch back in um, February and March. So I don't know if I'm writing those off forever. But like I sent out to Randy Johnson, I don't know if I'm ever going to see those again. That first couple times I sent, I didn't realize there were money, like, um, um, fees to send. I just didn't know. So I'm not sure if those will ever come back. I sent to Rafi Palmero, several guys like that, that I just don't, I haven't heard as a return to sender or I'm just still waiting. So I don't know. And some of those go back to just this month to a few weeks back. So I do, I have received four of those dreaded return to senders. How about this? Of my four return to senders and those ugly yellow tabs on the envelopes, two of them are from Tom Glavin. What's up with that? Uh, I had four kind of men. <laughs> I wrote down in my little record keeping clipboard. I had four returns that were just, I thought, worth mentioning. Uh, of the four that did not sign in return, I received a Mike Musina. And again, his was for the fee. So I thought, well, fine. I sent him two cards. He sent both cards back unsigned. I also sent out to Lou Brock early on. And from the time it was mailed, he actually passed away. And those cards haven't been returned. So that's another one of the probably never hear back from. Um, I also sent a Deion Sanders 89 Pro set to Jackson State. Now, I also believe, I don't think I'm ever getting that one back. Uh, I can't imagine that's being forwarded out to Colorado. I don't see that one coming back. I also just recently got back a Henry Winkler, the Fonz. Um, he sent a thing back saying he no longer signs. So I did get the cards back, but still, you know, something like that. Probably the, the root, I don't know if root is the right word, but I, I received Paul Mulder way back. I think we sent him five cards, and I'm pretty standard. I write a letter and tell them, hey, you can keep one or two. Just if you want to sign one, that'd be awesome. Well, he sent all of he sent my my letter back and some of the cards back, didn't sign them, and he kept three of the five cards. I'm like, dude, what's up with that? Um, but I guess they're his to do with or whatnot, but he did keep three of the five and didn't sign any of the two. <laughs> that I did get back. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, and you can see out here in front, I have four. Uh, these would be from the, uh, let's see, Nick Saban there. You see, he was an email send. Uh, same thing for Gino Ariema from UConn. I mean, how cool is that? Same thing. I have a coach, Krzyzewski. 
Um, here's Brandy Chastain. She actually included that 8x10 just for fun. I sent her two customs. She signed them and sent this really cool note back. And then here's a Ronnie Lott on the, on the far side of the screen. Now, people, check out the stacks of cards here. That's what we've been getting back. I have, for my totals... Well, before I give you the totals, for my first year of sending out TTMs, I'll save that number for the end. But I'd like to go through quickly and show you some of the big names, or not even big names, I shouldn't say that, some of my favorite returns that we've received in this 2022. So let's just flip through some quickly. Um, check out who we received here. Here we have Mr. George Costanza. He signed both of his cards and sent them back. Super cool, Mr. Billy Crystal, Mike Wazowski from uh, Monsters, Inc. And he's signed other things also. And then Buzz Lightyear, one of our favorite movies. So three really cool from film, if you will. We'll put, we'll stand uh, these guys up. So super cool, sent them out, came back, and you know, it, it feels really good to get those back. Um, as far as just look at some of the all-time greats that sign out here. How about Mr. Shaquille O'Neal on the 92 Classic? Um, he signs. Let's put him out here. This, and I'm shocked by how, how high up my rankings this guy is. Mr. Bob Cousy? How awesome. How cool is that? My Indiana Hoosiers favorite basketball team, Bob Knight? And he got that back, I want to say, like in seven days. So if you're looking for TTMs from Bob Knight, come on, man. Richard Petty, he is a superstar in the TTM world. He signed, I think he sent two of the three things that I sent to him. He signed in a super awesome gold Sharpie. And this is from Florida State legend, Mr. Lee Corso. This is back from his playing days. Just love the black and white photo. He actually signed a couple things for me on his returns. Mr. Lee Corso. What about, oh my word, I sent out some serious Olympians. Nancy Kerrigan um, from the US skating team. Personalized it even. Mark Spitz. He is such a huge you know, uh, nine time medal. He signed like three cards. I want to say, I just showed you one of them. Um, let's get into my top five TTM returns of 2022. And I'm going to go kind of in a, in a strange order. I'm going to do my first, my favorite two cub returns of the year, just because they're my favorite and we're going to show them. So in terms of, in terms of my top five, this would be my number one. And it's not because of monetary value. It's just my favorite set, my favorite player. And just all around, I love this Andre Dawson 89. So this is my number, my favorite return of the year. My second favorite Cubby return, and the only card that I sent a fee out for, Mr. Rhino, Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Fame Cubby. He was early on in this 2022 kind of TTM collection building, but love it. And again, it's not really so much for the value. Actually, probably none of these are really for just the value. Just my, he's probably my second favorite Cubby of all time. All right, let me show you my favorite, my three favorite returns. And and these would probably be my one, two, and three if I weren't counting Dawson and Sandberg. But there's just a really cool story to each. Mr. Dick Perez. And I just feel like I have tons of players from football and basketball and actors and just things. And I'm really shocked by when I was going through digging through for my favorite what to show you I was kind of shocked that Dick Perez ended up being and just kept staying as I filtered them out and so the card itself he actually signed three of the checklists for me but I really thought this was one of the coolest things he included this on his own he did answer some of my questions and they are just what you see here I'm like hey Mr. Perez do you have any of those diamond kings like at your house in your in your office 
and he sent this extra note saying the original Diamond Kings are in the Baseball Hall of Fame archives, so I own none, which still kind of blows me away. The size is there, and then he signed this extra card just for cool factor. So Mr. Dick Perez, number, I kind of lost my order here, but in the top five, Mr. Babe Ruth. No, just kidding. Uh, this is his granddaughter, Linda Ruth Tosetti, and he would be the granddaughter of the great the great Bambino. Again, I think she signed four or five cards for me, but she also wrote one of the coolest notes. Um, she'd mentioned how her mom kind of kept it. She, she, oh, I'm sorry, she passed away. You can see grandfather already passed away before she was born. So she's the youngest, but she remembers, I won't read all this to you, but she remembers how she found out. She said some boy at school, in my mind, I kind of added this part, basically teased her or was, you know, being a middle school boy. And that's how she found out that her grandfather was Babe Ruth. Come on, man. Babe Ruth's your grandpa and you learn from a probably a seventh grade boy, probably being uncool. So just a really cool letter um, from Linda Ruth Tosetti. And rounding out my top five, it's just for overall coolness factor, Hank Williams Jr., I just really love this card. And again, it's not a Cubs. It's it's not a Cubby player. It's not a Florida State player. It wasn't one of my Heisman Trophy winners. It just looks cool. So again, he signed two cards. He signed two index cards. It took a while to get back, but the card itself just looks so cool. So Mr. Hank Williams Jr. would round out my top five returns of 2022 in my TTM, my TTM department. Um, so, uh, I said at the beginning of the video that I would give a recap, some stats of my autograph collections. And really this year I sent out, like you said, 127 requests. Some had more than one card and they kept some and they sent extras sometimes, but listen to this overall total. I had eight autographs come back from email. And again, I probably sent who knows how many emails. I didn't really keep track of the number of emails that I sent out. Just kind of collected them when they came came to the house. Here's my number for 2022, and I'll keep doing it through 2023. But check out this number of autographs earned through the mail. TTM for 2022 here at the channel. 220 autographs. I mean, if I could show you the emoji with the mind being blown, 220 autographs. I started at the end of February, and here we are winding down the end of December, and I just, I can't believe it. And so I was digging through, looking for photos, digging them out, and just trying to make a pile of my favorite. So the piles you see behind Dick Perez and the Babe Ruth cards are autograph cards that we've received in the mail to the channel. What a cool hobby. <laughs> what a very cool hobby. So that concludes my 2022 TTM recap video. And if you've watched this long, thank you so much. Um, if you have questions on how to do this, it's really pretty simple. It's really it's fun, fairly cheap, and it's just cool to see when you open up the envelopes and you don't know who's inside and you open this up, it's like, boom, it's Bob Knight, Bob Cousy, Tim Allen, Richard Petty. I mean, look at the names up here and they all came through the mail. So thank you for watching and we will see you in 2023.